Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Let's get straight into the research. Last year, there was an article pu published in the Journal of Arachnology about a kind of strange behavior finally observed in person uh, between male scorpions, in this case in the genus Tatias, and it was an intersexual competition that didn't involve uh, wrestling or sparring or flipping each other, kind of like what you think about when you think of things like stag beetles that fight with their jaws. In scorpions, there is quite a bit of uh, known intersexual competition. So with the ritualized mating, the males and females go through a sort of courtship ritual or dance, and it's mostly so that the female doesn't straight up kill the male. Generally speaking, females are quite a bit bigger and uh, will be quite a bit more aggressive if the male suddenly gets into her nest. But also females will compete amongst each other for territory or mate selection, and males will compete with each other like many other animals do for mate selection, or in this case, mate access. So what was observed in the scorpions, Tatias Rosenbergi, uh, which I believe are South American, they don't spar with each other. So frequently with scorpions, uh, they will sort of grapple with their pedipalps, which are the big pincers that scorpions have, and they'll try to flip each other or they'll try to knock each other off whatever substrate they're on. But in this case, they undergo a sort of ritualized dance uh, in order to see whose pedipalps or arms are bigger. So in this particular species, the males have extremely long pedipalps. So uh, you can see the joints of the pedipalps here on the males. And what they're doing is they face each other and then begin to kind of maneuver around, kind of press their mouths together, and they keep their arms flayed out, and they're trying to see basically who has the longer arms or the longer pedipalps. And this can go on for more than 20 minutes, which is what happened with this uh, particular observation. Uh, but luckily for us, the for the citizen scientists that first reported this, they did some recording. So you can see here on the tree, they're not actually trying to hurt each other. They're just attempting to kind of intimidate each other with their uh, super long arms. And they'll do this dance for quite a, quite a while. And here's a better view of what's going on. Uh, luckily, if it weren't for citizen scientists recording such things, we would never know that they were happening. So this intersexual competition is, like I said, non-lethal, and it's not even uh, likely to result in injury. They don't attempt to sting each other or anything like that. It's just a, kind of an act of intimidation until one of them gives up and leaves, and then the other one will have access to the females. So I will link the article in the description. It's fairly short uh, because it's just a short communication. There hasn't been a lot of research done on this particular species. Uh, if, so if you want to read it, you can look at that, and I'll talk to you guys later.